Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today, I'll be recommending 15 mods which I think are necessary for Stalker Anomaly. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, come ask me when I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. The first one is the new Bass update. Both major mod packs, EFP and Gamma, use fairly old versions of Boomsticks and Sharpsticks, meaning you're missing out on quite a few high quality weapons. The main guns missing are multiple new LMGs and SMGs. I'm personally not too big of a fan of LMGs in Stalker, as they kind of go completely against the whole idea of ammo conservation. But I cannot deny the high quality models and animations. For SMGs, multiple Caprices and VZ61s were added, with varying magazine sizes and some having lasers. The new LMGs can be found on military or high ranking ISG, SIN and monolith soldiers, and the SMG is mainly found on bandits and renegades. There are some other newer guns that have been added and some updated, so I highly recommend you getting the update. One of my favourite guns for killing mutants is the Desert Eagle. The 357 round it fires is highly damaging against them, and the gun can go into the melee slot, making it take up little space. The main issue is the vanilla model and animations are quite rough. There are two mods which I can recommend here. The first one uses custom animations and models which are very high quality. The reason why I gave a choice is due to this mod replacing the Step Eagle with a variant that has an unchangeable red dot sight. This isn't too much of an issue, but it does deny you using this gun effectively at longer ranges. Which is where the gunsling animations come in. This mod will remodel and reanimate the Desert Eagle, and instead of removing options from the Step Eagle, it adds even more scope options. With some being quite ridiculous. I personally prefer the first set of animations, and don't mind the sacrifice, but you can choose which one you prefer. Another reanimation mod, but for the PDA, is the PDA reanimated mod. Once I've found this mod, I can't go back to the regular animations. The new animations look so much smoother and more satisfying in my opinion than the old animations. The main downside is opening your PDA when you don't need to just to see the animation. Another mod I wish I found sooner is the Dynahud mod. I quite like to turn off my UI elements for most of the time to be more immersed, but having to press the key to toggle it on and off can be quite tedious and dangerous in some cases as the keybind on Gamma is right next to the quick throw grenade button. Dynahud solves this problem by dynamically turning on and off different HUD elements based on what's happening. For example, if you take damage, then your health bar is shown. This mod has a lot of customizability and can be adapted to use any HUD mod that you have. One of the most popular questions I get asked on stream is, how do I get the weights showing on the items? The inventory weight to revise mod is the one you're looking for. This mod will add a label onto every item in the inventory displaying how much that item weighs, or the stack if there are multiple items. This mod saves me so much time looking for what is weighing me down as I don't have to wait for the tooltip to appear. I think we can all agree that quality of life mods are some of the best for this game, and this trend remains with Utjan's quality of life bundle. I have covered this mod before, but it has received a few updates since. The main features of this mod are, showing you the total number of items in a stack, before accepting your fetch quest, it will show you how many of that item you have and how many are in nearby stashes. The mod will also show you the total weight of a category, as well as allowing you to scroll through the categories by holding the alt key. Some new features since I covered it last are, an icon will appear on items which are needed for fetch quests, a bar showing you how much sleep you'll regain upon sleeping, and finally, when crafting, the item with the lowest durability will always be used, so you can save higher durability parts for later. This mod will really save you a lot of time. Another mod which saves time is the item UI improvements mod. This mod does two main things. Firstly, it adds a number above the durability bar for weapons and armor. This is very useful as most of the time, the condition bars are vastly different to what it should be. The second thing this mod does is add multiple dots above the condition bar which display the rough condition of the parts inside the gun without even having to hover over it. This allows you to quickly assess if the gun has any parts worth taking or not, just by looking at it. Again, this is another mod which makes things a lot more efficient. Last mod on the topic of UI is the Improved Equipment Icons mod. Again, this mod does a ton of things, so I'll only mention the main changes. One of my most favourite changes is the addition of what toolkit is needed to repair a weapon or armour is displayed on the icon, making it very easy to see at a glance. The mod will also display the faction of the armour on the icon. All consumables have icons on them showing which specific effects they will provide. Last mentioned change is the tier shown on upgradable items like night vision or detectors. Again, I have skipped over a few other changes, all making this mod essential in my opinion. Just note that this mod is made to work with the icons from Gamma. Companions can be quite a pain to deal with in Stalker, so to make them a bit more bearable, I have chosen two mods. First is the Companions Keep Up mod. This will increase the speed that companions move, allowing them to keep up with you running. 
I've always got annoyed when I've got to my location, but my companions are still far away. The other mod is not for everyone, but I especially like it. Companions don't die will prevent companions from being killed. Instead, they'll go down and be unable to fight. I always hated when one of my companions stopped thinking and died to zombies while carrying half my loot. A simple personal mod that I've had for a while now is the Campfire Heals Limbs mod. Currently, being near a campfire will slowly heal your main health, but not your limbs. With this mod, your limbs will also slowly regenerate when near a campfire. This is a lot simpler than having to mess around with different meds just to get your body to full health. Another extremely simple mod is the Extra Level Transitions mod. What this will do is move the transition from garbage to rostock to a lot nicer places, saving you having to run all the way. Again, a nice mod to save time. There have been multiple times where I've gone to a new location only to spawn on top of mutants. Then, as I try to leave the same way I came in, I get bitten to death as my screen fades to black for a few seconds. This mod will shorten that waiting time so you will be teleported as soon as your screen fades. This mod may not apply to everyone, but is especially useful to me. It is the Inspect Weapon mod. This mod will allow you to inspect the gun you are currently holding by pressing a button. This is nice when you're showing off a new weapon or just looking at some new attachments on a gun. Note that most, but not every gun, has an inspect animation. Last mod is for one of my favourite guns to use in Stalker, the Vector. My main issue with the Vector though is the sights. Some of the sights have smudges on them, obfuscating vision. This mod will remove those smudges as well as changing the hollow sight reticle and adding the RMR sight. Again, a simple mod, but makes the gun a lot more usable. So that was 15 mods that I think are essential for a Stalker Anomaly. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, come ask me while I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.